I'm telling everybody, I said, yeah, guess what? I'm going, I'm going on Fox News, man. So I get to the studio, man, and, and, and you know, they put the makeup on me. That was new. They said, you, you shining too much. I said, yeah, I bet I'm shining too much. So, man, I mean, I mean, really, I'm saying it didn't even hit the thing yet. I'm about, I'm about to sit, didn't even hit the thing yet. I'm about to sit down, and they got the camera on me, and say, Imam Saraj, isn't it true that the Quran says that the Muslims shouldn't take the Christians and Jews as friends and protectors? Didn't the Quran say that? And isn't this bigotry? <laughs> I thought you wanted me to talk about what I was doing. Now, this is an attack on the Qur'an. Not a problem. We can defend the Qur'an. It's the word of Allah. Allah honored me to say something on behalf. Allah don't need me. Allah honored me on behalf of him to say something about the Qur'an. I said the problem is, you don't know the Qur'an, and you don't know Arabic, and you take things out of context. How dare you? And people do this and it's sickening. You take a book, 114 chapters, that was revealed in, in, in 23 years, you have the audacity to take a verse out of it, out of context, throw it out there, no explanation, no nothing, and you weren't after me, you were after those millions of people that were listening and watching to say that, see, you see, what it, see how Islam is? Against Christians and Jews. And I said, well, since you asked, let me tell you something. Let me quote what it says. Oh, you who believe, don't take the Christians and Jews as awliya. What does awliya mean? It's the plural of the word wali. What does wali mean? One of the names of Allah, El Wali. He's the protector. This is why, sisters, when you read the hadith of the Prophet, he says, La nikaha illa biduni wali. There's no marriage without what, a friend? There's no marriage without a friend? It's stupid. It's asinine. Is asinine okay? It's, a, it's okay. <laughs> Just don't get excited. So now, no, don't, there's no marriage without a guardian, a protector. Your father is your natural guardian. Your father protects his daughter. That's what the, that, what, that's what the hadith is saying. Now, now listen, everyone knows, everyone knows that Muslims are allowed to marry the people of the book. Who are the people of the book? Christians and Jews. Think about this. Allah is saying in the same Quran, you permitted to marry the people of the book. So what are you saying? You can marry them, but don't be friends to them. Come on, silly. It's silly.